Jefferson has said the truth. And therefore, you are already welcome to the 97th speech and press meeting of our great school. When I was at the square where the cadet and the brigade is played, I told myself, this is the school to be loved. I'm not surprised that your team for this year talks about beauty as a component. Whatever you did at the square exuded beauty. And so let's give ourselves a round of applause. I see the Presbyterian ethos at work. And then the traditional ethos, beautifully displayed by the ladies who are sitting directly in front of me. I'm very sure they have a slot and we will see the whole tradition at this place. This is what we are looking for, so that the Ghanaian identity will not be lost. We need to preserve the Ghanaian identity and then the Presbyterian identity. So I'm glad that today all these things are at play and we are going to manifest it either in the speech of the president or the performances that will go with the program of activities for today. I wish you all the best as we make the best out of today's activity. We are sitting out there and watching all the things that we perform. We hope that the performance will lift the image of our grace. Once again, you are welcome to the 97th speech and prayer of Provoya. Provoya is shining. Oh, yes. Provoya is shining. Oh, yes. You understand? We want to take an anthem from the choir. The school choir will give us an anthem.
this moment, we want to welcome the school prefect to give her report. She is in the person of Nana Ama Dakwa. Yes. And the whole girls, we have three young girls, the name, she is in the middle, the one leading is the assist two, and then the one behind is assist one.
He doubles as the president of the District of the Number of So we are welcome to the and his entourage in this special occasion.
to be that bright light that shines beautifully at a hill top. Our girls must be excellent in all they do, especially in academic performance and morals to become wonderful human resources the country needs presently and even in the future. I take opportunity at this occasion to celebrate the founders of this noble institution for their vision and quality. On behalf of the Board of Governors, PTA staff and students of Kobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School, I wish to convey our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to the Minister of Education, Honorable Dr. Yao Osei Edu, Director of Education, Ghana Education Service, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, the traditional authorities, Koga, and all others for the support and wide expertise we have offered to the school and continue to offer. This has helped to churn out quality human resources who are contributing to the growth and development of the country Ghana, in particular in the world at large. This has partly fulfilled the vision of this great and noble school, Student population. Kobodal's Presbyterian Senior High School is started from a humble beginning with few girls has now a student population of 3,004. Boarding enrollment is 2,856, and that of day students are 148. Staff growth. The staff trend stands at 201. This was made up 145 teachers and 56 non-teaching staff who are very good. There is cordial relationship among the staff. Our staff spend life in the unity and in diversity, which is perceived vigorously in all aspects of educating our students. Infrastructure. Kobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School is blessed with a number of facilities which enhance effective teaching and learning. These are Newly constructed home economic block by JNPC, 12 unit classroom block by government emergency projects, continuation of the new dormitory block, and a new dining hall with an attached kitchen by Get Fund, still under construction. However, most of these buildings still lack furniture for the classrooms and beds for the dormitory. For instance, the home economic block given to the school by JNPC has not been finished and so lack all the equipment necessary for effective and efficient teaching. There is also an abandoned dormitory block which was started in 2014, when, which is about 50% complete and you will be happy if work is completed and is handed over to the school in congestion. And yet, the academic rep, and it remains one of the best girls' schools in Ghana, hence our status as category A. Academically, the school has laid up its expectation of her motto, the best for the highest. To stay true to our motto, a number of measures have been put in place to ensure that academic work is boosted. Some of these measures are monitoring of staff teachers as well as delivery of their lessons, motivation of staff in service training to sharpen our skills, counseling of recalcitrant and wayward students and others. Again, we have started what we call mathematics clinic and we are rigorously attending who are weak in mathematics. There is also peer teaching, which 
which we are seriously encouraging that to be a part of the American culture. Guardians and counseling department is working hard on throughout the media events to desist from such acts. Counseling sessions do not end at the department in charge, but also on daily basis during morning devotions, midweek service, and on every Wednesday morning and at all school gatherings. on the academic, this high premium on the academic way. Discipline. Discipline is one of our core values, and it teaches us to operate by principle rather than desire and say no to our impulse. It exposes our lust, commit truth, virtue, and integrity to rule our minds. Here in Provo Girls, we believe that discipline is prerequisite for attaining academic excellence. Students so do appreciate the essence of remaining disciplined in order to enjoy the fruits of their labor. It is therefore no need that for both girls students are academically rich as they hide our highly disciplined. This high sense of discipline can be credited to the effort of school management and all staff members, especially guidance and counseling parties. In spite of all these, a small number of students are then last the school rules. But a significant majority conduct themselves so well, culminating in a pleasant relationship of teachers and students. Religious Religious activities in Provo Girls is central to the spiritual growth of the students. The Bible says we should first in the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and all other things shall be added to us. It is against this background that the school deems the spiritual participation of the students important. We have several programs that have led the moral we owe the success of our spiritual life to go into our dear chapters. The Dumbleton Presbytery of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana has greatly supported us in training our girls. When we are hard pressed with anything, the Presbytery headed by our able church assembly, Reverend Benjamin Oka is there to support what you can in cash. Agricultural activities, the school in collaboration with some staff members in the houses has started farms. So far we have cultivated maize and harvested enough to add to our food stock. This year we have already cultivated peppers and started harvesting, but for the Ramadan which has opened it a bit. The houses are also doing well in their farm projects. We are waiting for the rain to start, and we will also start planting mangoes and palm seeds. Sporting activities. The school continues to take part in all sporting activities. Some of our girls qualify for regional during our last week and athletics, the school was able to select a team for the zonal competition and we are sure we will qualify to the regional competition and even international. Management is very grateful to the fiscal education department and the sports girls. PTA, the role of the PTA in the development of the school the PTA headed by the Deputy Chairman and executives are working hard, hand in hand with managers in the provision of and maintenance of the infrastructure 
office. These include provision of tracks to the family, provision of 200 good debts, payment of salaries for two nurses, two foods, one country and, and one plan, establishment of a box room for the state, bringing of bed bags, provision of food support, provision of garden chairs. We say God richly bless you or for what you are doing to continue to do for your work and the school. Student Representative Council. The Student Representative Council also works hand in hand with the management to ensure that the discipline and order in the school. They also spearhead student projects to support what the school does. This has gone a long way to promote academic work. Contribution of Koga. The old girls of this great and noble school are very supportive and have not left us in any way. I therefore wish to pay a glowing tribute to all old girls, both home and abroad, for all their contributions, encouragement, and the love they have shown for their alma mater. Special heartfelt thanks goes to the 89 year old who supported us greatly with our work you will see today. I am overcome by the good work of various other groups, other year groups, and individuals support me. We cannot be quiet about the open backup 2013 year group who are only 10 years old gave us which has really helped us. God richly bless you. Again to our dear 84 year old, we say thank you for a beautiful bus for our dear friend Ghanaian teacher, the late Jesus and the Nyakuan God bless you. The school is proud of our distinguished scholars who are seriously serving other Ghana and wider world in various ways. I wish to put on record that the 97th anniversary and prior to the day has been possible partly because we supported us. I dear for that purpose. Staff welfare. The school has a vibrant welfare that supports members whenever there are issues. In all activities and events, they are there to support as a great family. Their support also touches the school on the way. Bereavement. The school within the year under review lost two members of staff, namely Mr. Peter Nimo, a GPA teacher, and Mr. Evelyn Zatete, a family man, who were so happy and dear to our hearts. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Achievement. In 2023, the school excelled in various disciplines and marked in history Global Girls Presbyterian Senior High School. Some of these achievements are as follows. For the sake of time, I'm mentioning you. The 2023 World Reports were very remarkable. The school also qualified for the national and mass based competition. in October 2023. The school contested in the independent and best competition at the municipal level in two decades and ten positions. The school drama group led second at National Drama Festival the announcements. The school drama group led the winners at the regional drama competition and qualified for the national competition in February 2023. Organized by the Roman. Challenges. The school has a number of challenges which need against attention. These are the renovation of the school science laboratory, the need for school bars, facts keep knocking at the door of all schools around us looking for bars to organize. This most of the programs we are never going to go because of the past. Honorable Minister, we wish that your good office will talk on our behalf. Completion of 
of a new dining hall with an attached kitchen, which is about 70% completed. Completion and handing over of a dormitory block, which is about 99% complete. The development of the school field, saving our land from erosion, which is making working on campus very difficult. Drilling of the borehole for the school, renovation of our e-learning center, having a second view of our assembly hall, a huge and beautiful facility. Gradually, thank you. Appreciation. My appreciation goes to God Almighty for bringing us this far. I take this opportunity to also sincerely thank and follow of many of the secretary of his support and being behind us, being our father. Now, I also want to thank the guest speaker, Lady Debbie Oyelamte, and all our sponsors and dignitaries here gathered. I cannot but mention and express a sincere gratitude to the following people for making this speech and private successful. God bless you and replenish all the offense on our account. They are Honorable Wache Jaku, Mr. Kazaku Record Limited, Nabika Hospital, Mr. Nam, Dr. Dr. Nemesiki, Ghana Water Company Limited, Mayan Kobo Rural Bank, Mr. Sagmenta Kutos Family, Koga 89 Year Group, Honorable Oblete, Head of the SP for Lower Media in fact.
moment. This beautiful and verses song was composed by one of us, the teacher in the school, Mr. Daniel T. Yes, at this juncture, I want to welcome my able colleague MC to recognize some guests that are in our base. We invite Madame Christina to I'm honored to be given this opportunity to introduce our able guest. It's a privilege. We are acknowledging Mr. Samuel Ufuri Eji, board chair of the board of the Dr. Mrs. Harriet Naki Amwe, the chair of the Crown Court. We are proud of you, Mr. Honorable Reverend John. We are privileged to have the overlord of Manyan Provo Kavishna Eri, Nene Sakite. Nene is here with his beautiful wife. We also have Lady Helen Sapwa, regional by the HR, representing the regional director of the Thank you. 
acknowledge that a researcher of the University of Ghana, a hotel, she holds a hotel, the Better High Hotel, that's Reed, Reed's Junction, Medina. We are privileged to have Provo Gold Girls Association Global President in the person of
there is a mark of that divine celebration. Yahweh will open a sign to the people Yahweh will open. We still have a tall is here. The book is blessed. You are blessed today. So we we'll acknowledge the presence of our member of parliament. He was a former deputy minister of defense. And as you see, a ranking member of the Committee on Environment and Science. We are privileged to have Mr. Ebenezer. Yes. 
Thank you. 
we are talking about shaping the next generation of leaders, innovators, and change makers. It is our responsibility as educators to provide our students with the tools and skills they need to succeed in rapidly changing the world. This means equipping them with knowledge, critical thinking skills, and the ability to adapt to new challenges. By excellence, a simplified case, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just about the academic achievement, it's also about developing character, integrity, and empathy. It is about teaching our students to be kind, compassionate, and respectful towards others. It is about instilling in them a sense of responsibility towards their community and the world at large. Beauty on the other hand is not just about physical appearance. It is about the beauty of human spirit, kindness, compassion, and generosity. Beauty here is about appreciating diversity and embracing differences. It is about finding joy and fulfillment in the little things in life. Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate our 94th anniversary, 97th anniversary, let us remember the legacy of those who came before us, the staff and students who have contributed Making us what we are today. Let us also look towards the future with hope and optimism. Optimism, knowing that our students have the potential to achieve great things. I would like to use this opportunity to commend successful graduates for their interest to ensure the educational institution in our dear nation who are Thank you.
and this morning he is doing two assignments as a president chairman and also representing the moderator of the president of Ghana, the General Assembly. Let's welcome Reverend Abraham Nava Okan as our special guest this morning. Thank you, Papa. You are so welcome. Let me also introduce to all of us this morning another great personality. And this man, when we talk about Presbyterian schools, not only in the Eastern region, but we are talking about the whole of this country. He is the general manager of the Presbyterian school. We are talking about Mr. Daniel Yabua. And on Shall we acknowledge his presence this morning? And as we acknowledge him, we welcome Papa to give us his good blessing. You are welcome, Papa. Thank you. Do it for Papa. He's our father. Thank you. Thank you very much. On a special occasion like this, I really need to put the church out. The moderator of the president of Ghana, right reverend and reverend of Ghana, of Mario Poache, and then the class of the general assembly, and all the directors of the church out. Today is a special day as we celebrate the length of existence. And as much as we have celebrated 97 years of existence, it tells us that we have a past. But fortunately, we're looking for a future where beauty and excellence is going to direct us. Are you ready? We have a future that is unknown now. If you want us to exhibit beauty and excellence, then I build yourself to be prepared. Just I build yourself to be prepared for us. We are in a Christian institution. There are a number of people that we go to school. Irrespective of our background, we have two things we are going to go to Bible tells us in Luke 12 35 that we should be prepared for service. And give our love pain. But as much as we are preparing ourselves for service, and we want to prepare ourselves for the future, where beauty and excellence will be elevated, then we can never conform to whatever is going on around us. We need to continue to reflect over the current situation. And as I thought, if the founders of this institution, the spirit were to come back to find out whether we are living their graves, the question I ask, would they be seeing us holding the mantle? And if it's not, then we have a lot to do. Let us take this opportunity to reposition ourselves in such a way that as the days go by, the future we are holding will be able to say one day that yes, we took charge of our own life and we've been there. Then let me ask what will happen. Why did the president of Ghana have? All those things in place that we can always prepare to and said that Presbyterian schools were the best. Those days, I did not know about it. We were living so well for the traditional leaders. We were living so well with the beings. We were living so well with the text. My prayer is that from today onward, that spirit of collaboration will be there for all of us. So that we'll all be able to focus. The individual, the individual city in four months today in such a way that whatever we look back, we will be able to May the Lord bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, General Manager. You are so glad. Papa, take your seat now. Wonderful. Now, folks, so senior high tech students have this right. I'm 
on behalf of Kogan, I bring to this assembly warm compliments on the occasion of our alma mater. From its capital beginning in 1927, today, our alma mater, Kogan Presbyterian Senior High School, has thrived and has been the channel through which the Ghana Education Service and the Presbyterian Church of Ghana promote a holistic girl child education, which is geared towards contributing to Ghana's effort to achieving the global sustainable development goals. Our school remains one of the most outstanding girls institutions in Ghana and has been a center of holistic education. Undoubtedly, the school has folded girls into renowned place and continues to exhibit a high sense of resilience in the central theme of the maintenance of excellence in all facets of life. It is heartwarming to know that the, school, the products of the school continue to make meaningful impact on many lives around the world. The team, molding our future human resources, beauty and excellence, adequately summarizes the philosophy, mission, and vision of the school. The team resonates with every old girl. We are proud to have our own senior lady, Dr. Harris Amuni, chairing this remarkable occasion. Today, as we witness the achievements of our students, and award them for their hard work and dedication. Let us also remember that true success is not measured by trophies or certificates, but by the impact we make on the world around us. Let us inspire our students to dream big, work hard, and never lose sight of their potential to create a better future for themselves and others. It is important to emphasize that the school creates a continual environment for students to be molded politically. I therefore urge every student to embrace this opportunity. It is good to have high expectations of students, but these high expectations are counterproductive if we do not support, encourage, and empower our students to rise to the challenge. We are so young. Therefore, I affirm our continuous support in placing the banner of Global Girls Presbyterian Senior High School higher and higher. Together, we can hold the generation of future leaders who embody both beauty and excellence in all aspects of their lives. On behalf of the Global Gold Girls Association, I congratulate everyone who contributed to the 97 years of the story of our dear school. The Scottish missionaries, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, the Menon Forward Traditional Council, Board of Governors, Old Girls, Corporate Institutions, the Municipal Assembly, the School Administration, the Teaching and non Teaching Staff, the students, and in fact everyone, parents inclusive. We appreciate your great inputs which have brought our school thus far. May this glorious occasion be well our commitment and dedication to get our school soar to higher heights. Long live the whole Presbyterian Girl Senior High School. Long live the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Long live Koga. Koga is shining!
but here it also forms a very formidable part of the school. And so here is a musician. It's a stakeholder and a very big stakeholder in running Kubo Girls. I bring you greetings from all parents. We want to assure you that we are firmly behind you and will continue to support the school. As parents, we know that our duty is to help the community of our school and to come up with a very good community that will enhance learning academically and also holistic learning. We want to express our profound gratitude to our headmistress and to all teaching and non-teaching staff and to say that we so appreciate the good works you're doing for our kids that we have brought and handed over into your hands. Every parent expresses their profound appreciation for the good job you're doing for our kids. Today, as we... Hello. 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 Well, patients like this, there's one painting that also features, and that has to do with someone special to deliver a speech on the team and to introduce to us a special guest. I welcome Madame Patience Nasapoji. The system that is going to be pushing to go as a special person for the public of the to be able to have our special guest leader. You can do it better. You can do it better. Thank you.
with my resource, beauty and excellence, without observing the new normal technology. In this era of rapid advancement, technology is changing faster than we can imagine. New challenges everywhere, the unexpected increases in the norms, and for that matter, we cannot hide from this change. Madam Chairperson, technology has become the parcel of progress, permeating every aspect of our lives. It is revolutionized. It has revolutionized industry, changed how we communicate, work, and even things. But amid this digital revolution, there lies a critical need for diverse perspective and voice to shape the technology. As young ladies, technology is not just a tool. It is a catalyst for change. You are the catalyst of tomorrow. The leaders of the digital age. You have the opportunity to leverage technology, to amplify your voice, to break down barriers and advocate for equality in all its forms. Your participation in the realm of technology is not just a desirable, it is a part. As we navigate complex challenges such as climate change, health, and social inequality, your innovative ideas and unique insights will be invaluable in finding sustainable solutions. Remember, the future is not something to be predicted, but something to be created. And with your brilliance and determination, I have no doubt that the future you create will be nothing short of extra ordinary. I urge you to embrace technology, not merely as users, that are created, innovated, and problem solved. Embrace the opportunity that technology affords, but never lose sight of humanity. Let your voices be heard, your ideas realized, and your impact be felt. Together, let us shape a future where technology empowers and reaches the light of all. Whether it is coding, AI, artificial intelligence, or any form of film, let your curiosity guide you. Do not be intimidated by stereotypes or perceived barriers. Your potential knows no boundaries. As future leaders, you have the responsibility to ensure that Technology serves a greater good, leaving no one behind. But with great power comes great responsibility. As you embark on this journey, uphold ethical standards, prioritize privacy and security, and remain vigilant against biases embedded within technology. Strive for fairness, transparency, to recognize the immense 
Shalik Hussein Reddy, Kutashi. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my message may not be complete without talking about the month of March. For all dedicated women, and most especially in March, which is the International Women's Day. And this year's theme was inspired. and 
they are in the mission to help. That will make this just to be a very good example.
and more specifically in terms of One has a dream. Then you create your pictures for the kind of woman you want to become. The pictures may not be so clear at the start, but even the first one will be enough to inspire you to act. They determine to pursue that dream. Just as I've shared my own story, each of us will have our unique challenges and objections to our ambitions. The notice, determination always brings in the face of difficulty. Take action. Study now. Do that assignment now. Read that book now. We might not have goals and aspirations. What are you doing about it? Be intentional to take an action today. Do not postpone until tomorrow. Know that you can try in every space you find in your soul. Your future is right before you and in your hands. Take action now.
Robot is shining. Beyond the sky. Thank you very much. Dr. Chair, Dr. Mrs. Harris, I'm waiting. Nanda, if I can take a second, the color of my approval that the President of Eastern Regional House Chiefs and Ladies Fire, Board Chair, Guest Speaker, the Headmistress of this great school, Mrs. Benz, Noel Benza Apute, and Mr. Benza Apute, the spouse, my respected colleague, member of parliament for Lower Mayor Provo, and the respected MC for Lawyer Kuluwa Mayor Provo, Honorable Simon Tete, and the MP Honorable Ebenezer Lefe Telabi, distinguished guests, eminent clergy, parents, old girls, students, staff teaching and non teaching of Provo Girls Presbyterian SNS. I'm excited to be here on the occasion of the 97th anniversary of one of the best all-girls schools, not only in Ghana, but a strong life in Africa. And one of the older institutions that we are so proud and we cherish your achievement. I bring you the warm compliment of Dr. Abbasadiju, and we congratulate you on this great feat. Nearly a century, this beautiful hill I've become home, and I've become preparatory grounds where some of the most powerful, talented young women have been nurtured to serve society, to serve many countries, and also to make a difference at home and abroad. And today we have an array of such inspirational old girls, most of them among our best and others also to hear a round of applause for our good guests. Uh, at the outset, I'd like to recognize the vision of Nene and his forebears who graciously donated peace of land and resources for the founding of this space to a seed well sown and nurtured, which has grown to become a giant in our education spheres and continue to support this great school. We also appreciate the continued partnership of the moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana for the continued support and partnership with the Ministry of Education in ensuring that education in Ghana becomes one of the best in Ghana and some of the Presbyterians will become some of the, some of the best schools we have in this country. Global Girls is a live example of this way. We as a country have come very far from in our education pursuit. Many strides have been made in our education outcomes. And today we are here to celebrate one of those highlights. As we recall the achievement of Global Girls over the years, we will want to focus on what is ahead of us and to challenge you and to urge you to continue to do more. Dr. Chair, Royal Majesty, girls have a special role to play in society. Women have a critical role to play in every country. In our 21st century era, in our fall of the revolution, women have a very important role to play. And from that, when women are in power, they play very important role in the transformation of every country. For that matter, education of the girl child is at the forefront and the key priority of this government. Imagine an era where you visited our schools, particularly our high schools, and wherever you found 100 girls, 100 boys, you would find only 68 girls. An era where on our campuses across the country, you would find 100 boys and only 68 girls. Imagine an era where a parent who, for constraint of funds, in choosing who, which of the three kids to find, one boy and three, two girls, would rather prioritize the boy at the expense of the talent and giftedness of the two girls because he could only afford one. 
and Israel allowed the girl child to continue their learning, they will stay home. And the boy will be the one to go to school. That era is long gone. We are in an era where from pre-primary to primary, today just the test teachers that have achieved a gender parity of one. Meaning that wherever you find 100 boys, you will find 100 girls, also in our school. We are smuggling barriers to girl child education, and we are recognizing the unique talents in our females and empowering them to be able to take their seats at the table of decisions, at the table of influence in various fields, even including male dominated fields, so that tomorrow we will have an empowered nation. Today, when we visit our high school, just the, the recent enrollment that we did for the first years, after we were 502,000 students in place, there are more girls than boys. This is most gratifying. And for us, <laughs> barriers must continue to be removed from the way of the girl child to be able to get them to contribute meaningfully to nation building. Women are multipliers. Women are very powerful influencers. And that is why Dr. Kuni Arnie once said that if you educate a man, you educate just one person, an individual. But if you educate a girl child, you educate a whole nation. The best way to remove certain undesirable cultural practices is to educate the girl child. The best way to eradicate poverty in every society is to educate the girl child. The best way to be on a trajectory of rapid social economic development is to ensure that the girl child that hitherto was marginalized is given the opportunity to realize their dreams. So today we celebrate the contribution of global girls in this pursuit of 100 years of quality and excellent education and we thank all stakeholders who have contributed to making this feat possible. Our teachers, our heads, both parents and past, our parents and all those who benefit continue to put global girls on the map. Now to our girls, our beautiful and intelligent, talented and gifted girls of global girls from the high school. You are many shining examples of the old girls who have gone before you. You are shining examples of the teachers and your heads to inspire you to want to rise, become even better, and to get to higher heights than they have attained. When we say that certain areas are misperceived, to be dominated by males or the reserve of males. I want to challenge you today to dare to venture in those areas. I want you to shatter glass ceilings and I want you to break our limitations to sight in our place on the girl child and prove to the world that what a man can do, a woman can also do a little better. And so today we are here to support you and to notice that for all the achievements that the investment into free SHS has given us. It is instructive to note that quality continues to increase. Contrary to the expectation that once you give access to enrollment and once you have given opportunity for everyone who has completed junior high school to get into secondary school and team education, quality was going to be compromised for four or five years on post-implementation of free SHS, we have proven together for our teachers, for our heads, for child, for teaching unions, parents, students, we have proven and got that you can increase the enrollment and show that no child is left behind and still have quality on the rise. We are proud of the high outcomes we have seen in our YAC results and to announce the good news just received last week that of all the names of our six countries, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Nigeria, and all part of Bayek, when the top three highest performing students in the 2023 Bayek was announced and award given out, Ghanaian students, the good father graduates, pre assistant graduates from Ghana, swept the top three awards. that we are doing something great. If you are a teacher, you must be proud. You are, you are teaching some of the best and intelligent, most intelligent students, and you are transforming raw talent value to you 
and to be coming back from competitive minds that have announced that our red research site to be and tomorrow. And for everyone that has made it possible, let us continue to invest. Let us continue to do more for the culture. Let us continue to do more to dismantle systemic and cost barriers for education. In conclusion, I always see myself as an example. A village boy from Asikrua, several miles away, a deep forest, completing my, my, my basic school with very equally talented and brilliant students. But sadly, I was the only person that year who could access secondary education. The rest were not. They all had dreams. We had brilliant girls. We had brilliant boys from that village. Some wanted to grow up to become like Dr. Harriet Amui, a philosopher, a renowned philosopher, and a PhD holder. Some wanted to grow to become great aviation specialists like our guest of honor, Lady Oyela, and many examples, but they could not have support. Today, that narrative is long gone. Today, whether you're a child of the poor or a child of the rich, you have access to come to Primogios. You have access to go to Precise Legon. You have access to go to Asima Secondary School or any school of your choice. And so, let us put partisan tendencies that define our efforts, that undermine our efforts aside, and continue to take up this challenge and create a brighter future for our students. Nelson Mandela said that the most powerful weapon to transform everything is dedication. And that weapon is what we are handing you with. That weapon is what we are arming you with. So that tomorrow, you're going to make a difference. But the what essence will it be? We're only training you on the 21st century skills. But not holistically with the values that are required to make that difference. And that is one thing that the work out stand out. And we are applauding for that consistency in developing a holistic girl child. Girl child, God fearing values, with values of patriotism, with values that will continue to make a difference wherever they find themselves. On this note, I would want to join Nana Kono on his admonition that keeps shining, and as you shine, the whole girls will shine. As you shine, the whole land of the world will shine, and as you shine, Ghana will shine, and Africa will shine. Happy next nice. time. And horizon. And for that matter, the headmistress, management, and board of governors cannot just be watching you, but to reward you for that hard work. We are gathered here to award you. This afternoon, let me inform you, this is a Presbyterian school, Presbyterian school. For that matter, we are bound to train the head, the heart, and the hand. The award that we are going to give to our children or our students cut across everywhere. It's not only academics, because we are going to reward best students in sports, most disciplined students, etc., etc. And so get prepared as we call those who distinguish themselves and please pay attention so that when you go home, you can also broadcast it to the world. Thank you very much. So to start with, our own lady, Clote Antoinette Na Anyama, Social Studies. And this will beg our own Reverend, Reverend Abraham Jabba Okain. Chairperson, Dang Beton, Papa, let the Holy Spirit speak at this moment. English language, Jani Benedicta Nade, the best student in English language, a science student, of course. 
Integrated Science, Amenovi Mary. It's from TA. Mathematic, Core, Ba Adjoa Ohenewa. Home Econs, Home Econs, Home 2. But she's doing very well in Core Mathematics. GK, General Knowledge in Arts. Amachi Preska Adjoa. Amachi Preska Adjoa. French, Papo Lonchi Eva Loen. <laughs> Literature in English. Nchiopi Precious Chioma. She is given award from the headmistress and the school. In addition, the teacher or the HOD is also given a package. CRS, a J. Labi Queen Lord Asari. Geography, geography. Batal Susanna Esi. This lady is taking two awards. One in geography, the other in elective ICT. In the same elective ICT, these girls are battling over the competition. For that matter, you cannot leave the other. Adiko, Princess Nadu, <laughs> elective ICT. Economics, Tete. Evelyn, the day two. The day two. Biology. We have two beautiful girls battling over there. Amuzu, Jennifer, Odebia. In term, delight, brand term. Chemistry, Tete Ernestina Atta. Food and nutrition, Boatin from Pound. Eugenia Abena. In addition, the home economics are also rewarding her. Management in living. Padikuo Linda Tete. The home economics department are also rewarding her. Clothing and textile. Yok Efua. Yok Efua. The Home Economic Department are also rewarding her. And finally, Papa, Leatherworks. Amadonu Serena. Papa, I believe now the Holy Spirit has worked and it's moving around. So the last person, you can have your seat. God bless you, Papa. The next person to help us take this award is our own PTA chair, Henry Asante Okreku. <laughs> Mr. Henry Asante Okreku. Picture making. Atopre Raihel Krang. Business management. Entry Danso Brenda Abena. <laughs> Financial accounting. Two beautiful girls are battling over there. Competition. Desi Ellen and Mensa Jacqueline Ajaki. <laughs> Cost accounting. Akade Vasti Selom. Dangbe, 
Mate Juliana Maku. In addition, the teacher, Mr. Tai Isaac Kwesi, is also giving her an award. This 2023, the teacher took 11 students to the WASI, and all 11 had A1. So, Papa, you continue to help us to do the overall best in each program. Overall best in each program. Opoku, Jessica, Asantewa. Music. Music. The teacher, we enrolled 63 students in music, first time in this school. And Sister Two had A1. Yes. So, best student in business, best student in business, Jani Wahamina Nade. Home Economics, Salu Princess Ganyu. Daniel General Art. General Art. Nutako Perpetual Safako Yao. This lady is taking two awards. Jan Per Linda Abba. She's taking an award in graphic design. Then overall best in visual arts. Overall best in visual arts. Agbozo Ernestina Makafui. This lady is taking four awards. She's taking an award for elective mathematics. Again, faces. Again, overall best in general science. And here is the amazing overall best in form two. Yes. Papa, thank you very much for supporting us. The next person to give this award to the Form 3, our special guest, Lady Evren Oye Lamte. <laughs> Lady Oye Lamte, Form 3, best in each subject. Social Studies, Ajirako Benis Koko. Ajirako Benis Koko, English Language. I would the grace, Mawena Yawa. French. French. I don't know whether to call it competition or fight or whatever. There are three ladies who will not give chance. I would say four. But the other will appear in another sector. So now I would say three. Tojuro Yunis. Asa Awusi Manuela. Mafu Nasipelin. You are doing very well in French. History. Nuruddin Radiatu. Nuruddin Radiatu. Economics. Adoko Belinda. Mama, the last person, I will say thank you so that you take your seat. The next person to help us present this award, Koga President. Koga President. So, uh -uh. No, this, Mama will finish with this.
geography. Anson Harriet. Anson Harriet. Chemistry. Zamasi Lebenay. Zamasi Lebenay. She's taking two awards. Also in physics. Also in physics. Chemistry and physics. Food and nutrition. Dakun Mebel Abna Brewa. Mebel Abna Brewa. Also a package from the Home Economics Department. Management in Living. Sowa Etel Anyele. A package from the Home Economics Department. Clothing and Textile. Obin Quinsta. A package from the Home Economics Department. So, Mama, thank you very much for your support. Kindly retire to your seat and watch. The next person to assist us is Boso SHS Head Mistress, Madam Emilia Jamina. She's gone. So, on this note, I'll call the Queen Mother of Amfueta, Mama De Detect. Mama De Detect. Leatherworks. Uforiwa Ophelia. Graphic Design. Asante Kisi Inshira Efua. Picture making. Tete, Catherine, and Yabua Janet. Yes, he's telling us you can be a cadet, you can be in a drama group, you can be a choir star and still perform. Academically. Financial accounting, Kujo Kembele. Cost accounting, Akuaku Ama. Akuaku. Elective ICT, Uforiwa Nanaya Bwatema. Dangbe, Tevia Sandra. Dangbe, Tevia Sandra. Music, Music, Uforiwa Deborah. Uforiwa Deborah. Mama, the last one, we are grateful to you. Overall best in each program in Form 3. Overall best in each program in Form 3. We call on 
Director for International Affairs, NCA, Engineer Kwame Ba Achamfo, to assist us. To assist us. Yes. Home accounts. Hodogbe Abena Eiram. Hodogbe Abena Eiram. The next person is Fafo Emanuela Nana Adobe. She is taking two awards one in business management and her teacher, Miss Nora Asafu Kisi, has also donated a book. And she is taking overall best in business. <laughs> overall best in business. Second, Akafo Emanuela Tekpeki. She's also taking two awards. One in GK, then overall best in visual arts. <laughs> overall best in visual arts. The next person, Tagbaha Frances Onyure. <laughs> She is taking four awards. <laughs> and one of our quiz students, Integrated Science. She is taking the best in Integrated Science. She is taking the best in Elective Mathematics. She is taking the best in Biology. <clears throat> and she is taking the best in General Science. Of our best in general science. And here come the surprise. This girl is a gem. And she's she is eight A candidate. She is taking seven awards. Even that is underestimated. Her name, Ga Presla. She is taking an award in core mathematics, government, CRS. And her teacher, Gifty Doku, has donated a book, Literature in English. And her teacher, Frank Obinbeko, has donated a book, French. And the teacher, Mr. Lawrence Young, has donated a book. She is overall best in general arts. For our best in general arts, and and you want to listen, and of our best students in form three. So, Papa. So, Papa, thank you very much. The next person to help us do the presentation is the rep of the Eastern Region Regional Director of Education. And she is the HR, Madam Ellen Sakwa. Mama, kindly support us. So the first one is most disciplined girl. Most disciplined girl. 
And this award is always taken over by former head, Mrs. Agnes Akuto family. They always, whenever there is a program, they reward such people. And so they are rewarding the person who is taking that with cash. I will not mention it. And then Springboard is also rewarding her. Then the school is giving certificate and plaque. Her name, Gloria Na. The most hard-working girl. The most hard-working girl. She will take certificates, book, and medal. Her name, Grace Mamle Namate. Best sports girl. Patience Dido, Na, medal, certificate, and book. Best class prefix in Form 3. <laughs> Mamiya Dufie Aiba. She is managing the Form 3 Sciences class very well and is showing in our National Science and Maths quiz. This presentation is from the language department to a very versatile student, Eunice Amwate. Eunice Amwate. She is in drama, she is in debate, she is in culture, etc. Most outstanding house. Most outstanding house in agriculture. Most outstanding house in agriculture. House seven. They are taking trophy, springboard award. It is this one, this one. The neatest house. The neatest house. Denka house. Mama, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> we call on our own mother, former director of education, Eastern Region, Mrs. Margaret Insia Asamoa, to assist us in this. These are our WASI 2022-2023 students who perform wonders. And so they are going to be awarded. 2022 WASI candidates, two of them, they have seven A's and B, and then the, the other one, so seven A's, so the same seven A's. Ado, Abba, Tansoa.
Mante Lily. Mante Lily. So they are taking a plaque, certificate, and a package. The mother and the father are all tutors here. Twenty twenty-three Wasi students. 2023 Wasi student. Cranton Irene Funky. Cranton Irene. Aite Sharon Nad. Cranton Irene Funky. Certificate, a plug, and a package. I told they are in school. Aite Sharon, na they they Kwao Sharon, Naki. She's not around. Mensa Mona Lisa and Chiwa. Mensa, Mona Lisa, and you are. Mensa, prudent. Mensa Prudent the Day Drama. And the last Saki Eliaza Koleki. Saki Eliaza Koleki. Mama, you continue for us. Please, you continue for us. Now we move on to teaching and non-teaching. Teaching and non-teaching. And I ask Mama because this point is very important. Outstanding teacher. Outstanding teacher. Male category. Male category. Goes to Mr. Emmanuel Deborah AJ. His package is donated by 89 year group. This gentleman is versatile. He leads the ICT 
any extracurricular activities, he's there. You call him in the night, he will respond. So he deserves it. Outstanding teacher, female category. You want to hear? Yes. Mrs. Kata Asamoa. For this woman, Kaya J. Kaya J. Yes, 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 yes. Mama, we are very grateful to you. Very, very grateful. Last one, Mama, before you go. Non teaching. Non teaching. We have Miss Bernice Ambasaki, the domestic beza. So maybe she's she's at the kitchen still. She's at the kitchen. She has managed our kitchen for us. Mama, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The next person to help us in this is former head, Madam Cecilia Ohenewa Apia. Ohenewa. And this are special awards, special awards for dedicating themselves to work everywhere they are there. The first person, Mr. Ejiram Bedema, <laughs> Protocol Publicity, former HOD. I enjoy working with him. Mr. Paul Abrokwa, he's, no, he's not around. Miss Francisca Kwanza. <coughs> Abrokwa. The headmistress secretary. Secretary one. Always her face is full of smiles. Whatever the situation. The next person, Mr. Evans Ofori AJ. This person is assistant to the assistant headmaster academic. So wonderful a person. Where is uh, that is true? The next is Reverend Ishmael Takpe Afedi, our own counselor. Our own counselor. When I was asked to come and work here, I entered and we have two reverends. 
And so I told myself, hey, let's be we reveal our uh, uh, pastors very much. How can I control them? But in fact, they've shown they are God's people. Yes. The next person is Mr. Eric Nkansa. He is former former coordinator for National Science and Math Quiz and chemistry teacher. The next person is Mrs. Gladys Chocho Asamoa. Mr. Stephen Giddy. Mr. Stephen Giddy. Administrator. And our music is also a music master. Every music that we sing in anniversary, he is behind it. Mr. Mr. Francis Bernard Atiedu. This man, I call him Mason Carpenter Fita Petro, whatever it is. He is everywhere. He is everywhere. Carpenter Mason Fita driver, whatever it is. Ishma Bodria. Engineer one, our electrician, Isma Bodia. Moses Kujo, Moses Kujo, Chief Security, Chief Security. Reverend David Ofori. The next person, Reverend David Ofori, the school carpenter. David Ofori, the school carpenter. Godwin Kwame Kwabla, security. Godwin Kwame Kwabla, security. John Lumo Saba. John Lumo Saba, the librarian. So, Mama, thank you very much for assisting us. The next, we we'll call on our own headmistress, Mrs. Bernice Noel Mensa Akute, to give this award. Dora Mamre Heman Cook. Mamre Heman. 
Cook. Alex Tete Na Pantry Buyo Adamu Awale Buyo Adamu Awale Bright Ayi Ayite Bright Ayi Ayite Mary, Mary Ogbojo, stars. Where is Mary? Yes, that's his. That's his. Mary Ogbojo. This is special award from the headmistress to some special people she want to uh, encourage. So I watch the list this morning and Mr. Akufu Daniel is part. You are in charge indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Papa. Yes. You are taking education to another level. Aiko. The next person, Miss Opokua Ampedu Saki. Domestic. I'm sorry, what do you want to She's not here at the moment. Miss Patience Asafu AJ Administration Assistant Academic Administration Mr. Jonas Tete Numo De Beza I want to find out if Engineer Philip Tete Paddy VRE. Yes, Mama, thank you very much. <laughs> Miss Gifty Doku. Edmond Tete, Chief Driver. Edmond Tete, Chief Driver. John Abba is also a driver. And Daniel Teku Tete. Daniel Teku 
Tete. The next person to Papa humbly appeal to you to come and assist us after the last driver takes his award. And this person is our own municipal director of education, Mr. Samuel Kwesi Tete. Mama, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. So, I call, we call Papa because of senior citizens. Papa should give this award to the senior citizens. Madam Irene Ama Apia. Normally, Auntie Ama. We call her Auntie Ama. She's coming. Then we have Madam Beta and your name, Tete Davi. We are very grateful to you for your hard work and contribution to Kobogas to keep on shining. So, Papa, you continue to give this award to this wonderful person for us. Very, very wonderful. Our own headmistress, Mrs. Bernice Noel Akote. And we call on the assistant headmistress administration to read this citation to the hearing of everybody. Mama, we will read. We will read. We want to read. <laughs> Krobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School. Citation in honor of Mrs. Bennett Noel Mensa Akute. Your love, devotion, and aiming of perfection deserves applause. You have demonstrated your deep affection for your school. We acknowledge your status as the first old girl to head Krobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School. Your quest for perfection is outstanding. Anything you set your mind on yields positive results. You believe that nothing should hinder the attainment of acme of perfection. Therefore, Everybody should work selflessly for perfect results. As a staunch Presbyterian, discipline is your utmost priority. You have a strong dislike for indiscipline. You have introduced good standards to curtail indiscipline among the members of the school community. We commend you on your farming initiative. Your school farm project, Planting for Food, has yielded positive results. Your motherly relationship with your staff and students is unparalleled. You are approachable and down to earth, and you have created congenial settings for your staff to work effectively. This has boosted the morale of your staff who are working tirelessly to place the school in the limelight. Do not be deterred in your quest to make a difference. Having the girls' brigade at heart, you have provided a new set of uniforms for them. The school recognizes and appreciates your deep devotion to the well-being of the members of your school. Ayeko Yokama. 
Mama, don't go. Thank you. Mama, don't go. Admi, don't go. Mr. Samuel Ofori EJ, our own board chairman. Vitarian Senior High School. Citation in honor of Mr. Samuel Ofori EJ. Your immense contribution to the development of Krobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School is commendable. You sacrifice your time and resources for the well-being of the members of the community. You really have the school at heart. You are keenly involved in the effective running of the school. Your policies have promoted the participation and engagement of all stakeholders of the school. Your policies reflect the needs and priorities of the members of the school community. Your governing skills, unique. Your governing skills are unique. You demonstrate a high level of devotion, diplomacy, and professionalism in your line of duty. Your quick and ardent responsiveness to the needs of the members of the school community deserves applause. You have spearheaded sponsorship opportunities that have contributed to the massive development of the school. As an academician, the educational prowess of the students is your utmost priority. You have led the school to initiate interventions that have aided the academic growth of the students. You work tirelessly to maintain utmost discipline among the members of the school community. We note with pride and admiration the outstanding stride made by our dear school under your governance. Your devotion is worthy of praise and celebration. You deserve this acclamation. Ayeko. Papa, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The next friend of the school, Honorable Bwache Ejako. It's so wonderful. At any time the school needs this man, he will come. Honorable Bwache Ejako. And so nobody is around, so we thank him very much. We will read. Ah, okay, okay. So we will read the citation. Krobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School. Citation in honor of Honorable Boachi Ejakon. We applaud your commitment in supporting Krobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School. You are one of the outstanding friends of the school and we revere this union. You have showed a quick and ardent responsiveness to our calls for assistance. You really have the school at heart. You have never turned down any invitation to our programs. You are a true patriot who devotes your life in supporting society. We are moved by your humility and selfless support to the school. Your immense contributions have advanced the cause of the school. Your passion to support the school is remarkable. Aside being a proud son of the Krobo land, you hold dear the holistic training your dear mother received in the school for which you do all you can to impact same to girls of this institution. In 2021, when the school was in dire need of a vehicle, you hurriedly came to our aid by donating one which is still serving its purpose. You presented Ghana City's 5,000 fuel coupon as startup. What a precious friend. Your generosity goes beyond the boundaries of the school. With deep appreciation, we commend your passion to support the school. Your uniqueness and boundless service would forever remain in the annals of the school. Ayeko. So, Papa, thank you, Papa Director, Municipal Director, thank you very much. Hey, no, Papa, last one, Papa, last one. The last one is our own sister. She was assistant head administration in this school, but now a headmistress at St. Stephen Senior High Technical School. 
our own mother, Mrs. Gloria Archery Belfi. She's taking home citation and a package. Mama, Mama, you don't go, so you stay to help me or help us do this. Yes, so the next person to present our award is Mama Gloria Archery Belfi, headmistress, St. Stephen SHS. Special Award, Manfred Haibo. Manfred Haibo, Entertainment Master. The next person, Joel Sena Fumado. Joel Sena Fumado. And the next person is Benjamin Asari Botiu. Benjamin Asari Botiu. And next person, Daniel Atiomo, music master. The person who took 63 to the exam and has 62 A1s. 62 A1s. This awards go to our nurses. Our nurses. Elsie Cabo. The next one, Elizabeth Mateko Tay. Elizabeth Mateko and Eliaza Esiama. Eliaza Esiama. And then our own brother, Bright Ayi Aite. He is, oh, we have mentioned it here. Ampedu. No, this one. We right. have mentioned it. Okay, so. Mr. Bright, Ampedu Boatin. Opo. Mama, thank you very much. God bless you. At this point, we'll call on our chairperson of today's program, Dr. Mrs. Harriet Amui, to do presentation to us. To so be chair for the function, I informed my year group members. And so, together, we put our heads together and we've presented a smart TV for use in your IT or e-learning for use of your IT purposes. So this is from 1979 year group. Thank you. God bless you all for your contributions. And on this note, 
Thank you all for your attention. God bless you. Krobo is shining. When I say, what are we doing? You say, we are celebrating. What are we doing? We and to mark this celebration, we are going to cut the cake. We have some special dignities who will be doing that on our behalf. At this moment, I want to welcome the following. We have our own municipal director of education. When I mention your name, please, you move towards the cake. The board chair himself, Koga president. We also have the president chairperson. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that the Koga, uh, the chairperson. We also have the former headmistress, Mrs. Cecilia Obino Apia, Madam Cecilia Obino Apia, the rep of the regional director, the former regional director, Dr. Hansen Mensa Akute, the husband of the headmistress, the three assistant heads of this great school. Then I also call on the financial controller, the Beza, to join. Then also, the three head girls who represent the student to do this wonderful thing for us. Shall we receive them with a hand of applause? So, we want to cut the cake. Yes, the chief accountant, the financial controller, is part. Oh, do it for them. Do it for them. It's so beautiful. Do it for them. We are celebrating 97th anniversary. These are great men and women, men of substance, women of substance, doing this on our behalf. This is a memorial. It will go into the books. Thank you. Is somebody going to say something? Will somebody say something? We cut the cake to mark our 97th anniversary celebration. In the name of God alone, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, Krobo is shining beyond the skies. Great, great. Thank you so much. We are getting to the end of the program. And at this moment, I want to welcome the chairperson to give us her closing remarks. Then to move the vote of time, Joyce Noama should be getting ready. Chairperson. Probo is shining. We hear the yes at Sofo Line in Kumasi. 97 years ago, there was Krobo Girls, but there was no Prempe College. Prempe College is only 75 years this year. But what has Prempe College got to do with Krobo Girls? 75 years ago, the Presbyterian Church and the Methodist Church were called by the King of the Ashanti to form Prempe College. And it started with students from Infansapim, where Mr. Bwachi Ejaakon, who is one of your benefactors, is coming from. But his younger brother, who died on earlier, he was an Amanfo. The Bokos, the Bokwes, the Akolaches, my global president, are all from Cumberland. So why are we here? Because Nene is an Amanfo. Our relationship with you is that your uncles and your brothers are Amanfo. So we are here to support you, as you saw with our, with our donation. But we want to encourage you all, be in the choir, be in the drama group, be in the 
cadets because you are molding to be all-round students. It was a surprise that Uforiwa, the best music student, is not part of the choir. I hope Uforiwa, you join the school choir. For your best candidate, who is likely to get eight A's, the amount for global is encouraging you and motivating you. Get the eight A's and come for an amount for scholarship. Krobo is shining. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, Board Chair, permit me to continue with the already established protocols. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we we'll have to congratulate ourselves for how we've comported ourselves throughout the program. We've had a long day, but you've all been very attentive. Um, looking at the theme for our celebration, I think justice has been done to the theme. All the speakers didn't doubt that the type of training where you are getting here is going to empower you, and then the beauty and the excellence that we are focusing on will come out of you. What I picked from listening and thinking through it's yes, we're doing this, but how do we face the future as the guest speaker said? I think it is a collective responsibility. I was excited when the teachers were being rewarded for their hard work. And you need to be motivated. Please, teachers, clap for yourselves. <laughs> Students, clap for your teachers. In fact, I don't know how they do it. Looking at your numbers and the ratio, teacher-student ratio, they are doing a your man's job. And they need to be motivated. Hey, Ms. Stress, thank you so much for the motivation. This is what we need. This is all teachers need. Parents, teachers need appreciation. And we will turn your daughters out for you the way we can. Please, let's do the collective things. I have initiated that with my, my year group. IT or technology is what is going to help us continue impacting the knowledge and giving you what it takes to face the future. Teachers, update yourself. The things are changing, times are changing. Students, update yourself. And policy makers, get us the requisite instrument that will help us continue to turn our students. I will not bore you. Let's give all, our, all of us ourselves some applause for a good day's work. Thank you so much. Krobo is shining. Yeah, I think. We are most grateful. We want to welcome a special group to give us a cultural display. They have just four minutes to do this. Let's welcome our cultural group Briefly. Oh, you can do it for them. The cultural group. Come and show us what you are made of. Yes, your time is now. We haven't forgotten.
wonderful. Beautiful performance. Wow. Beautiful performance. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's do it for them. Thank you so much. Let's do it for them. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Crowboy shining. 